good day so in this video i'm going to tell you the team sport that i have chosen so the team sport that i have chosen is badminton so i'm going to tell you what are the mechanics the history of the game the rules how to play this game some skills of this game and lastly the execution of the team sport badminton so without a further ado let's get started so what is badminton so badminton is a racket sport played using rackets to hit a the shuttlecock across the net although it may be played with a larger team the most common forms of the game are singles one player each side of the court and doubles two players each badminton is often played as ca cas casual outdoor activity in a yard on a beach formal games are played on a, on a rectangular indoor court the history of the badminton so the roots of the sport can be traced to ancient greece china and india and it is closely related to all children games battle door and shuttlecock badminton is derived directly from puna which was played in Brit british army officers stationed in india in the 1860s so the badminton first unofficial all england badminton championships for men were held in 1899 and the first badminton tournament for women was arranged the next year badminton was invented in 1873 the duke of beaufort introduced the sport at his country state badminton from which the game derives its name the object of badminton is to hit the shuttlecock over the net and have it land in the designated court areas if your opponent manages to return the shuttlecock then a rally occurs if you win the rally for example force your opponent to hit the shuttlecock out or into the net then you win a point so the basic rules and regulations of playing badminton so first a game of two or four so badminton can be played a single or double so left or right yes you can randomly choose your side as you wish this is one of the basic badminton rules which need to be followed for any rally so third one know your weapons badminton is played with string racket and then a shuttlecock the cock is stopped with feathers and have a rubber base the player should always hit the rubber base and not the feather part the fourth one the serve the serve is the basic of any badminton player serve is the term used according to the badminton rules to hit the cock during during the beginning of each rally so the fifth one begin it by a toss the basic rule and regulation of any badminton rally either olympic or your family play is that the game always begins with a toss so the sixth rule the net trap the net is vital villainous equipment in the play so the seventh tame your hands and your feet while the play is on your, your feet should never touch the white line bordered around you so the eighth rule that's a foul play according to the basic rules of badminton if your cup touches the ground or if you hit it twice from the same court that's considered a foul play the ninth rule don't be a bully while a, a play you should never back or temper opponent while he or she is serving so the last rule the landing the shuttlecock which is either serve or hit should land inside the service court any shuttlecock which flew away the white boundaries 
will not be counted and yes your opponent will definitely score so the i have a list of skills in badminton so the first one is proper holding of the racket this skill seems simple but should not be overlooked holding the racket in the proper fashion is a skill that every badminton player must know so the second one racket grips knowing both the forehand and backhand grip is an essential skill for a badminton player to possess player need to master both of these grips because they are building blocks to learn learning how to perform the third one serving knowing how to serve well is a vital to a player the fourth one strokes along with knowing the different types of serve badminton players must be able to perform the four basic strokes the overhand stroke the overhead backhand stroke the underhand forearm stroke the underarm backhand stroke so the fifth one ha hand eye coordination of course being able to perform the strokes and connect the racket with the shuttle depends on hand eye coordination so i'm done explaining to you the mechanics history how to play the game some skills basic rules and regulation of the game badminton so for the last part of the video i'm going to show a demonstration of playing badminton